Hey, what's wrong? Welcome back to Dark Souls. Screw it whilst we're here. Let's go kill the Hydra. It's not going to give us any immediate effects right now, besides obviously the souls that it drops, but if we want to go to the DLC and we do, then we're going to have to kill this guy at some point, so we may as well do it whilst we're here. We're not going to go to the DLC for quite a while, however, because A, it's extremely bloody difficult, and B, for some reason, I just like to leave it towards the end of the game. Don't really know why. Now, you can see over in the distance, that is the giant freaking Hydra that we are about to take out. He's not that tough, however, as you can see, he shoots giant water jets at you until you get up close to him, and they hit like a truck. And so do these guys. However, if you roll out of the way, you can get these guys hit by those water jets. That's kind of an easy way to kill them. And they are extremely resistant to magic, so we are going to be doing very much damage to them, so we're going to have to kind of rely on them. Oh, shit. You see what I mean? One water jet over... Oh, good lord. Don't do that. One water jet over half killed me. We cannot afford to get hit by those. But yeah, like I said, when you get up in his grill, he'll stop doing that. He just tries to ram you with his heads. His heads? Shit. <laughs> okay. Nearly died. Da -da 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 -da. That's a very bad golem. Okay, heal the hell up. And get out of there. Okay, we're fine. Anyway, yeah. His head's really not that dangerous because despite having nine of them, he misses like hell. So, you know, for the most part, once you're up near him, it's kind of game over for the Hydra. Unless you fall in the deep water. Don't do that either. But yes, it's getting to him that's kind of the problem because A, you got to get these golems taken out and B, not die to the water jets yourself. And for some reason, I almost always die at least once just trying to get to this guy. Let's see if we can actually stop that happening this time. Will you please get hit by the water jets, buddy? Come on, there we go. I can't see shit. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Thank you. Now, I don't think this rock's gonna actually protect me, but screw it, we'll try it. No, it didn't. But since I had my shield up, we took way less damage. Okay, heal, and then get out of there. Da -da 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 -da. Go. Okay, perfect. Run. Go, go, go. Pump those legs. Okay, they should miss us. Da -da -da. It was close. Okay, we are almost there. Don't shoot your jets. You can't do it again. Da -da -da -da. Okay, perfect. Now, as long as we don't fall in the deep water, like I say, for the most part, this should be game over for the Hydra. That was kind of close. I wasn't expecting them to need to hit me. There we go. Boom. Okay, so we can take one head off with one shot. Perfect. Now, there's two ways to kill the Hydra. One, you need to just keep shooting him in the ball. Don't do that. You need to just keep shooting him in the body until you do enough damage, until his HP bar is depleted, then he'll die. Or if you dehead him of all nine heads, then he'll die that way as well. So we're probably going to be going for the head method because we don't really have the range to shoot him over there. Despite spells actually going quite a distance, it's kind of a bow and arrow that you need really because we can't quite get him from there. And if we try and walk too close, you can see there's a sort of lip in front of me. If I go over that lip, boom, I fall into the deep water and I drown. And that sucks. Don't do that. Come on, buddy. You son of a bitch. Bring those heads down here. Come on, come on, buddy. I know there's a set of armor there. I'll pick that up later. Not going to do it in the middle of the fight because that might get me hits. And even though his heads don't do that much damage, we run the risk of getting knocked into the deep water. That's kind of the problem here. It's not so much him as much as the deep water, which is kind of sad, really. Giant bloody Hydra looks awesome, as you can see, but really not that dangerous. There is a second Hydra later in the game, kind of at the bottom of Blood Town, technically. That guy, much tougher than this guy. However... Again, it seems to be the deep water that kills me there much more than him. I think I only really died to that Hydra on my level 1 character, because on level 1, you ain't got no freaking HP or defense or stamina or anything, really. So, yeah. Okay. And it's also kind of weird that this guy clips through all of the walls. How the hell did that miss you? That is some bullshit. I call shenanigans. I demand a refund. I want my spell back. What the hell was that? Anyway, yeah, it's kind of weird that this guy clips through the walls, because... That makes it incredibly hard to hit his heads. It's kind of the last one or two heads that are really, really difficult to shoot, because as you can see, we can't really hit them there. There we go. I think that hit him. Yes, it did. Okay, perfect. We should almost have another head down. God damn it. Stand still. No, you son of a bitch. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> okay, I think it's down to his last heads. No, two more. Okay, bring that one over here, buddy. There we go. Perfect. Can we get two shots off? No, we didn't even need two shots. Okay, one more head. This one is the one that's going to be a complete bitch because of that. We might be able to get it. I think I hit it. Maybe? Come on, surely I hit that. I saw his HP bar, I must have hit him. So I think one more shot, we should be able to kill this guy. Please don't miss. I missed. God damn it. Oh, come on, that should have hit him. Come and get me, you big son of a bitch. Come on, buddy. Here we go, perfect. Don't miss. Thank you, finally, the Hydra is down. And there we go, we get a Dragon Scale as well. Okay, got a little more preparation to do before we go down to Blight Town. Most of that's going to be off screen. I'm going to go farm up a bunch of Tainut Shards so we can upgrade our weapon. Then I'm going to get a bunch of souls so we can buy that ring. And then I'll see you back in Final Shrine when we're ready. 
Okay, after much farming, we now have enough shards to upgrade our weapon to plus five, and we have enough souls. Shit. Sorry, buddy. We have enough souls to buy this ring. Oh, hello. Well, you certainly are keeping at it. Myself. I'm fine. Let's get started straight away. Oh, what a nice fellow. Considering I jumped on his head, he doesn't seem that cut up about it. Okay. 20,000 goddamn souls, but this ring will boost our magic damage by 20%. That's a lot. Right. That'll do it. That should help you on your journey. May we meet again. It damn well better do, it was bloody expensive. In case you're wondering where I was farming souls, basically I was killing the border buddies in the undead parish because they dropped tiny nut shards a hell of a lot and I think you need nine of them to upgrade your weapon all the way to plus five. Plus they drop decent souls, so yeah, I was killing tons of those guys. Also we need large shards to upgrade it from plus five to plus ten, we have a few of those. Ah, why that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Magnificent! You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Okay, so that's the large ember that we found in a chest in the depths. If you don't give it to this guy, then you cannot upgrade your weapon above plus five, so you must give it to Peter Andre when he asks for it. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. I am always careful. I'm totally not careful. I'm a complete moron. Okay, before I forget, let's upgrade our dexterity twice so we can actually wield the bloody sword. Otherwise, there's no point us upgrading the damn thing. Not gonna leave us with a whole lot of souls, but it might just about be enough for us to upgrade the damn thing. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be tight. If worse comes to worse, we can always just run into the forest and kill a couple of bushmen or something. Hopefully, we won't have to do that though, because I'm a lazy, a lazy man, and I cannot be asked with that bullshit. What's up, buddy? My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I can produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. And that's the divine ember that we got from the petrified blacksmith that was at the top of the Moonlight Bastard Tower. Okay, let's upgrade this puppy, shall we? Hopefully we have enough souls, otherwise it's really, really gonna suck. Now, weapon ascension is kind of strange in this game. Ascension is upgrading it from 5 to 6 and 10 to 11. He has to do this. We cannot. However, the levels in between, we can do those ourselves. Very strange. You can also make raw weapons and all kinds of crap like that. But really, it's basically 1 to 15. That is the best method for the most part. Get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. <laughs> I just realized we only have 59 souls left. Talk about kind of close, man. We don't have any more chance to upgrade it any further than that. For now, we can only get a plus 10, so when we get to the bottom of Blight Town, we'll probably farm up some more large shards there, then we can upgrade it ourselves because we have the weapon upgrade box, so we don't have to come back to this guy to do it. But like I say, when we want to go from plus 10 to plus 11, we need another ember, plus we'll have to get this guy to do it, so we'll have to come all the way back here. Anyway, let's go back down to the depths. It's time to take on Blight Town. Okay, it took quite some time, but we are finally here. Now, before we leave, Let's buy a gold pine resin from this guy because I think the boss at the bottom of Blight Town is at least, you know, gonna take more damage from it. It's not necessarily weak to it, but should help us a little bit. Thank you. That was a fine trade. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. And you make another fine trade, of course. I have a funny feeling you're right, and it might be something to do with the fact that you sell literally all of the boss armors in the entire game. I don't know why, man, I just like buying the boss armors. I like to collect shits. I'm a hoarder, especially when you're in New Game Plus and you have a bunch of souls lying around that you don't really need. It's really, really good to just blow them all on boss armors. I really like Ornstein's, I think it's one of my favorite, but I can't stand the fact that Ornstein, when you're fighting him, he has like the red plume, but when you get the armor, it doesn't have the plume. I want the plume, goddammit. It sucks. There we go. Yeah. Time to test out this freaking weapon. Not bad, considering these guys do have a metric ton of freaking HP. And yes, the either side of us is a pit of doom. Pretty much the entirety of Blight Town is a freaking pit of doom. That's what makes it so damn difficult. It's very dark and you can't see where you're going. And on top of that, you've got to be very, very careful of not just falling off of the edge. And there are so many places to fall off of the edge. There's ambushes, there's all kinds of crap here. But like I say, when you know what's going to happen, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. I still enjoy this place. It's bloody awesome shit. Holy crap, man. I knew you had a lot of range on that thing, but Jesus Christ. As you can see, they have poison on their weapons. Nowhere near as bad as Toxic. Honestly, Poison, for the most part, you can pretty much just ignore. It drains your HP, but it really drains it very, very slowly. As long as you just top it up now and then, not a huge deal. However, Toxin drains it incredibly quickly. And both of them last, I think, 10 minutes, which is pretty goddamn excessive. But if you rest at a bonfire, 
That will get rid of Toxin or Poison. So there is a couple of bonfires here. There's only one, and it's very close. And then after that, we have a long ways to go before the next one. That is where it gets difficult. Gotta shoot this guy from here. Damn it. I tried. What can I say? Okay. There's another fat guy here. Shit, I forgot about this, dudes. I really don't want to waste my good spells, but screw it, just to get rid of this guy since there's a bunch of pink people coming. Let's take him out quickly. Okay, it's running for the kill. Prepare to die, scumbag. <laughs> I love the way enemies just stand there and take it on the chin when you're shooting the crap out of them with magic. It's kind of really, really freaking easy. Okay, there's a pink guy there, there's another one behind him. Oh shit! Pokedex, gotcha. See this guy? That weapon in his hand is actually a torso of a human being. If you look very closely, it's a very badly rendered torso, but it is a torso. Pokedeck! <laughs> I think Pokedeck might be my new favorite deck. And hey, we got a Soul Consumable. I think these are the only enemies in the entire game, at least as far as I remember, that actually drop Soul Consumables. So, they're kind of good for farming because, you know, if you die, oh shit! Okay, that guy has toxic darts. Gotta be careful of him. Okay, anyway, yeah. So if you die, at least you have those. But uh, they also drop Broken Swords, which is the thing that you start with, and they are bloody terrible. So you're probably gonna pick up a bunch of junk in the process. Careful! Careful! And uh, shit! Damn it, I did not mean to put my shield down. Oh, good lord, he's poking me off the edge. Oh, shit, okay. Now we're in trouble with Toxics, and there's two pink people on me. Run. Okay, heal the hell up. Don't backstab me, you son of a bitch. Okay, we're fine. Die. Just wear the way, kill something before we die to the Toxic. Shit, there's a third one. This is not good. Okay, one of them's down, the other one's nearly down, but we're out of freaking stamina. Okay, we're alive. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Jesus Christ, man. That went to shit very, very quickly. Anyway, yeah, I did not mean to put- Oh, good lord, I thought he was dead. No, 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 run away, heal, heal quicker. No, 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 shit. <laughs> Holy crap. I could not have been low on HP then and survived. Okay, take that goddamn moss. Okay, we are not toxic anymore. Wow. Holy shit. Anyway, yeah, I did not mean to put my shield down just then, and that kind of made everything go to shit. But we're alive. Once again, we couldn't have been much less alive, but we haven't died yet. Which, frankly, is complete bullshit. <laughs> but I'll take it. Okay, so you don't need to come down here. However, there is a good soul consumable over in the distance. And there's only one guy guarding it, really, because the other guys run around anyway. So you may as well kill the guy. These guys really aren't that hard. In groups, as you can see, kind of dangerous. But one on their own, incredibly easy. Give me something. You freeloading son of a bitch. Wow, I cannot believe how close I came to dying just then and somehow still lived. That was ridiculous. Anyway. There we go, we got a soul of a proud knight. There are tons of them down here. I think there are either 3,000 or 5,000 souls each, which is quite a lot at this stage. Anyway, so yes, the uh, woodmen, they do not respawn. So as long as you prioritize taking them out, your next run through, assuming you died, will be a lot easier. Because then you don't have to worry about getting toxic. Because I believe, unless I'm mistaken, they are the only guys here that actually use toxic on you. There's a lot of poison, but as I said, poison, nowhere near as dangerous as toxic. Now there's a bunch more pink people around here. I don't know what the, hell the actual name of them is, so they are called pink people. And there's a sword over on the left that we can run a jump to, however, I never seem to be able to get that damn thing without dying 20 times beforehand. I don't even want the damn sword, so I ain't gonna bother, but uh, I think it's the Ayato. Basically, you have to run and jump at the very tip here, like at the very tip that is poking out. The very last second, jump slightly to the left, then you don't hit an invisible wall on the right, then you can get the Ayato. That's the only way to get that weapon, you have to run and jump over there. Like I say, I died literally 10 or 20 times trying to get that thing, and I don't even want it, so I ain't gonna waste my goddamn time. Jump attack! Okay, that, <laughs> that did not work properly. Whatever. Die. That, okay. That was one of the most spasticated kills I think I've ever seen, but somehow he died. Whatever, I would take it. We gotta just make sure there's no more pink people around here. What can I say? I used to know this place out of the back of my hands, but it's been quite a while, so... Gotta take my time, man, otherwise I'm gonna forget about people and then die. Like I almost did. That sucked. That really sucked. And yes, there's a pink dude in a pot here. I don't think you have to take him out, however. Regular enemies like the other pink guys can smash him out accidentally. Or you can roll into him or whatever. So I find... Oh, good lord, don't grab me. I find it's better just to take the guy out. Then you don't have to worry about him. You see that grab attack they did just then? If you hit them in the face, that'll stop them doing it. But uh, you have to be pretty quick. So otherwise, you've got to back up a hell of a lot. So in that situation, it was better for me to back up. I mean, let's be honest here, it was pretty damn close, he almost grabbed me, but the point is, he didn't grab me. And just like every other grab attack in the game, as long as you match the LNR triggers, you should be able to get out of it before you die. But uh, yes, if you don't, they will kill you from full HP unless you have a hell of a lot of it, because they do lots of freaking damage. Get out of here, you scumbag. Try rest of the goddamn bonfire. Die. Jump attack. <laughs> Got the jump attack on the sword, it's nowhere near as good as the club. I miss my club, man, what can I say? Anyway, how am I resting the bonfire from here? That looks wonky. I don't like it. 
let's get closer. So, question is, do we have enough souls to level up? I think we might. Just, okay, uh, screw it, I guess we'll get another vitality level. Why the balls nuts? Okay, so as I mentioned, this is our one and only bonfire before we get to the very bottom of my town. So this is where shit gets serious. There's a bunch of ambushes, there's much tougher enemies, and there's new enemies. Basically, they are dogs that breathe fire. They have very little HP, however, the fire does tons of freaking damage, and it goes all over the goddamn place. Oh, shit! I forgot you were there. God damn it! No, come here, you dog son of a bitch. Run. Just run. Okay! I don't know this could be going a lot better. Careful, don't get hit by the dogs. Die, scumbags! I said die. Thank you. You're not dead. There we go. Okay, I see you coming out that ladder, you son of a bitch. Okay, shit, this guy's gonna come around behind me if I'm not careful! Don't you try and push me, you bastards! Da -da 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 -da. There we go! <laughs> you walked right into my trap! And there we go, we got a broken sword. Now, like I say, that's the thing you start with. They drop them all of the goddamn time, just fills up your inventory with junk. You can draw stuff in Dark Souls, but it's a huge pain in the dick, and I'm far too lazy for that. Oh shit! That was close! Okay, so there's another toxic dark guy over there. Really, we want to get around behind this piece of wood here. That should protect us. But of course, we got to get rid of- Oh shit! We got to get rid of pink buddies, otherwise they're going to freaking kill us whilst we're sitting here. Don't you try and grab me, you son of a bitch. Like I say, if you just put them in the face whilst they're doing that, they'll stop doing the grab animation and won't be able to grab you. But uh, you have to be really, really quick. So I advise for the most part just backing up unless you're already wailing on them. Otherwise, you might regret it. Now, there is a shield right here called the Eagle Shield. It's not bad, but it's not that amazing either. Basically, it's good for how light it is. It doesn't block 100% melee damage, however, so it's not a huge deal. I don't really want to get it, however, I did grab it in my level 1 run, so if you're wondering where to get it, you can always go check that video. I think the only thing I didn't grab in the level 1 run was the Ayato, which again, we ain't gonna do now, because it will just get me killed 10 or 20 times, and then cost me a hell of a lot of editing. So there's no point, because like I say, I ain't gonna use the damn thing. There is just no damn points. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda wondering where the hell we go. I think we can just drop down here, but I know there's a bunch of pink people around here who will try and ambush me, so I gotta be careful. I think I saw one over there. Pretty damn sure I saw something moving. Hello? Where the hell are you? I think one comes up this ladder as well, am I imagining that? What the hell, man? I don't see anyone. I'm kinda worried. I gotta be honest, I'm kinda forgetting where the hell to go now. I think maybe we can go up here. Eh, there's a pink person. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Where the balls am I going? I'm <laughs> really lost right now. Okay, screw it. I know where to go, but like I say, I'm kind of worried about these pink dudes, because I know they are coming for me. Where they are? Oh, there's one. Okay. I'm sure there's more than that, though. Come on, buddy. Come down here. I ain't gonna hurt you. I'm lying. I'm gonna cut you to pieces. Prepare to die, scumbag. I, I said die. Thank you. Bad damn time. I miss my club. Good God, do I miss my club. Anyway, so down there, that's where we gotta go. Over on the left. There is a miniboss over there. As with every other miniboss, you don't actually have to kill the damn thing. However, there is the power with pyromancy underneath him. Basically, use that, it will drain your HP pretty slowly, sort of on par with poison, and it boosts your damage by, I think, 40%, which is a hell of a lot. For, I think, about two and a half, three minutes. I'm not exactly sure of the timing, but yes, that is a bloody good spell. And with every other pyromancy, you don't actually need any levels or anything to use it, so even a level one can use that, so yes. Oh, shit. God damn it, I forgot there's a woodman around here. You son of a bitch. Okay, we got two more of these left. We should be fine. Yoink! You won't be needing that. Okay, let's heal the hell up and then get out of dodge, because oh my god. Really? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, so we're toxic again, and we gotta deal with this fat guy and his pink buddy. Run. Just run. Priority, cure the goddamn toxic. Okay, that's done. Now, kill this guy. Don't get hit by the club. God damn it. I am so surprised we haven't died yet. We may very well die here. Shit. Heal. Heal quicker. Chuck. Chuck. Okay, we're fine. My guts. Okay, take care of the pink guy. Don't get hit by the club. Shit! Okay! Pink guy's dead! Okay. We're alive. We'll be fine. Don't worry. That was close. Holy shit. <laughs> I cannot believe we haven't died yet. It's ridiculous. Die, scumbag. I'll be reserving these for you. Not bad damage. Okay. Careful. Don't get... There we go. Parry. Good lord, you deserve that. Sit your fat ass down. Okay. That was pretty goddamn harrowing. You see why I'd like to come down this way? It's much more freaking fun being on the edge of death all of the goddamn time. Especially because I'm so damned out of practice. Now that fog wall down there, all that does is take us to the very back of the, uh, the thing we just killed, whatever the hell it is, the sort of... I don't even know what to call that damn thing. It's like a weird slug that was attached to the wall. Where we got the power within pyromancy, basically. So that will just take you around behind it so you can kill it safely. If you go running up in its face, it will just kick you off the edge. So yeah, without spells... Or a bow or something, you gotta be freaking careful. There we go, okay. We are pretty much at the bottom of Blight Town. Pretty much, but not quite. We can still fall to our death a couple of times here. 
and it's gonna suck, so we have to be really careful. Once we're at the complete bottom, then we'll be safe for falling to our doom, but still, bottom may not be as dangerous as the top, but it's still pretty goddamn dangerous. Down there in particular, if you fall down the rats, you are dead. It looks like you'll be safe, but trust me, you won't. There's also a sort of sloped edge around here. I don't remember exactly where it is, but if you land on that, you slide off, you can't stand on it, you'll fall to your doom. It sucks. I did that the very first time after like two hours of trying to get through Blight Town. It pissed me off so much, you have no idea. I don't know if it's a bug or something, because it looks like it should be safe, but it's not. Then again, knowing the developers, they probably just did to dick you over, because that's what they like to do. They like to dick you over. Okay, and down the bottom of Blight Town, you have these goddamn mosquito dudes spawning all of the time. Like, they infinite spawn. It's like a minute between or something like that, they just keep coming back. It drives me freaking nuts. And there we go, we got the Wanderer set and the Falchion. Which we're almost certainly never going to use, but like I say, I like to collect shit. What can I say? Now, I think the slope bit of wood's down here and on the right. Yes, that right there. If you land on that, you will insta-die. I don't know why. It drives me insane. Oh, shit. I did not mean to come off here. I think we might be bones. I think if I go any further to the right, I'm going to slide off and insta-die as well. God damn it. There's no way I can go back up here. Please, let me somehow glitch my way back up. God damn it. Fly We've got to go down. Please don't die. Really? I didn't take any damage? Okay. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. See, like I say, we're gonna get poisoned down here. Oh, Jesus Christ, monkey balls. No, it's got my eggs. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Don't die to these guys. Run. Go, go, go. Shit, these guys should be up the ass. Go quicker. Holy crap. Okay, we gotta use your magic to heal. Okay, we're alive. Barely. But we're alive. Jump attack. So down here, as you can see, pretty much all covered in a poison swamp. There is a couple of places you can stand, but for the most parts, it's easier just to get poisoned and not worry about it. Because if you look at my HP, it's draining very, very slowly. Not a huge deal. There's also a bunch of armor sets you can wear. In particular, I think the uh, thief set that we got near the Capra Demon, that one has really good poison resistance. That'll make your poison bar bigger, therefore, it has to fill up a lot more for you to actually get poisoned. So that way you can get between the little items safer, but yeah. No huge deal, just let yourself get poisoned, don't really worry about it. Plus, we have the purple moss if we really need to cure it. Shit. Why can't I rest at the bonfire? Someone's trying to invade me, aren't they? This is not good. Okay then. you will be honest, funny, you could not be invading me at worst freaking time. I need to rest here so it's a checkpoint. You son of a bitch. Okay, in the meantime, I guess we'll try and summon people so if he does come and invade us, we might have some defense, because we ain't even got no Estus. This is very... Very bad. But then again, knowing Dark Souls, the invasion probably won't work. And then again, neither will the summoning. So, this might be all for nothing. But, you know, either way, eventually when the bonfire comes back, we should be cool. I don't think we can really get attacked by anything here, because there is an NPC that's going to invade us, but not until we go further to the right. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait around here. Hopefully, be able to rest at the bonfire soon. Come on, goddammit. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Alrighty guys, I'm going to end it here next time. We explore the bottom of Blight Town. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like. And I'll see you guys next time for more Dark Souls.